Hey, it's Lindsay from Heart Speak Health. I am finally back. I haven't been on my YouTube channel in quite a long time, so it's great to be on here and say hi. And uh, as you can see, I've got some, I've got a phenomenal Band-Aid on. I believe that's Iron Man. I had to get stitches in my hand. Yeah, crazy. I'm 37 weeks pregnant, which has been, uh, you know, one of the major events that's been going on over the past year. It's a little over a year ago that I first started to put videos on my channel after I launched as a holistic health coach. And uh, so here I am. I'm back. Hello, everybody. And I would like to talk about some of the things that have gone on over the past year. One of them being that I've been working with some amazing clients, and uh, that's been really exciting, just building my business and getting to have the experiences that I've had with the girls and a couple guys that I've worked with. And um, on top of that, I've also been able to meet some really incredible people, different people who are involved with holistic health and healing, and it's just really enriched my experience for myself, for my own health, and then of course working with, with others. So if you don't really know the backstory about me, um, let me just kind of rewind and give a little bit of, a, of an overview. In the fall of 2014, I was diagnosed with hypothyroidism, and from that point forward, I started to utilize holistic modalities to heal. So I was able to overcome hypothyroidism and hormonal imbalance. I became pregnant in October of 2016. So it took me a couple of years to heal, to get myself balanced out so that I was able to naturally conceive my daughter who is due any day now. Again, I'm 37 weeks, so it could be at any time. I had my son at 38 weeks, so you just don't know. Um, so yeah, so yeah, it took, it took a couple of years because I kept falling off the wagon. You know, I would do really well and then I'd get off track. And a lot of that had to do with doubting. I doubted what I was doing. I doubted if it would really work. You know, is all of this going to pay off? Would it be easier to just, you know, maybe look into, you know, getting some type of, of treatment or whatever? But in my heart, I knew that my body could get back to where it was would be operating optimally. I knew that that could happen because I was like that before. So why couldn't I be like that again? And that's the thing. Your body is so amazing. It knows what it needs. It'll tell you if you listen to it. And when you're really out of whack, it does take time to come back into that space of equilibrium. But it happens. I'm living proof of it, and this little girl that I'm going to be having is living proof of it as well. I don't know what better testament there is to natural healing than to see a woman who is as out of whack as I was become pregnant naturally and have a healthy baby. So I'm just praying that she continues to be healthy, that I continue to be healthy, and uh, I'm really looking forward to her being born here anytime. So over the past year, I've worked with a lot of incredible clients. And I have also been working on my website, which is done. It's up. It's launched. HeartSpeakHealth.com is alive and well. And I have my blog on there, which I am so excited about. And I encourage you to check it out for some inspiring, maybe inspiring, uh, blog posts, as well as just my insight, my advice, my take on natural healing, on what I've done. And also you can check out my free resources on the site where I post my healing eating plan,
There we go. Sorry, I blacked out there for a second. <laughs> um, the screen went black. But uh, I post my I posted my healing eating plan, my uh, list of, of supplements that I recommend, and you know just some different things regarding personal care, your home environment. So if you want an overview of things that you can start doing now to improve your health, check out those free resources. You can also sign up for my monthly newsletter on the site, and uh, you will receive, of course, my, my newsletter every month, and I'll be highlighting blog posts and directing everybody to different resources in that as well. Okay, so I just want to talk first about my very first blog post, blog post number one that is on my site is titled, How to Eat an Elephant which I know sounds a little bit silly, but I just think it's a good analogy to use when it comes to taking a journey with a health coach. When I think back to the time that I was working intensively with my health coach, it was very much, it was very overwhelming in the beginning, like an elephant. It's just, it's huge and you don't know how to approach it. Well, the only way you can approach it is to take everything one step at a time, just like eating an elephant, one bite at a time, right? So it, it's really about when you, when you decide if you're interested in working with a health coach, all I can say is that you have to look at the big picture because everything affects your health. There's multiple factors. It's not just food. Now food is a foundational thing and you have to be physically feeding yourself well. And a health coach will help you do that. But there's more to it, okay? Because everything that you do, every part of your life affects your physical health. Your mental, emotional, spiritual state are tied in with what's happening to you physically. It's the truth. And so a health coach fosters that self-reflection a health coach helps you to see how different aspects of your life affect your health. So there's a lot of going inward, asking yourself some tough questions, and having to recognize the answers that you come up with and having to really, you know, not just come up with those answers and be like, oh yeah, you know, my job is, I, I hate my job, I hate my career. Um, I would like to make a career change. It's not just like you say that and then you kind of set it on the back burner. A health coach can help you figure out, well, how can you make that a reality for yourself? How can you make that career change? What are the steps that you have to take within yourself, within your family, and at your current job so that you can make that happen? So it's all about breaking it down into realistic steps and taking action and making it real. That's what it's all about. So being a health coach is an honor to me because I, I have been through the journey, so I understand the ups and the downs that you experience. And the thing that I love most about approaching any type of health challenge or illness or just generally wanting to feel better from the position of what's the root cause? What's, what are the underlying things that are going on? That's what this is all about. And so when you actually give yourself the opportunity to dig and again, to start asking those questions, then healing will start to happen as you become aware and as you start to work on different things. So like I said, I gave up many times on my own journey because I had my doubts and I had my fears and I had my frustrations and I questioned what I was doing. And, um, you know, it, it does take time and it takes a level of trust with yourself and with your coach. And all I can say is that if you are curious about health coaching, please 
make sure that you do visit my site and that you take a look at the blog and the free resources. And if you have any questions at all, don't hesitate to reach out to me. Okay, well, that's it. Have a great day. Thank you for joining. And I, uh, I'll keep you posted on what's going on here. Any day, she'll be coming. All right, thanks. Bye-bye.